What's up, Cancer? This is Soul and Cancer. We're going to look at your week ahead starting July 24th and ending on July 30th. So you guys end up with the last rotation because we just moved out of our birthday energies. Anyway, Cancer, I hope all is well. Uh, this week I'm using Cat Black's uh, Touchstone Tarot to deliver your energies here. Not reading reversals and just going to shuffle up the energies real good. Concentrate on you and see what's coming up for us potentially this week as... Um, we do that, then, you know, we're going to start and begin the energy. So what is the energy here for my fellow crabs? What do we have to look forward to? Spirit, what do you want Cancer to know this week? What's going on? What's coming up for Cancer? What's coming up for my fellow crabs? We need some good energy, Cancer, right? All right, here we go, Cancer, with the first card. Energy that's going to open us up. Well, we start off with a very powerful card here, Major Arcana, the Strength card. The strength card here is about... Um, I just mentioned this in, I think, uh, another video here, too. We talk about the passion. We talk about the sexual energy and sexual expression, but the strength card could be viewed as seduction, too. So um, you can be under the influence of some sort of seduction by others or you're doing it to somebody else. This card here is representing courageousness, feeling powerful, feeling strong. Any challenges, Cancer? that, you know, may be presented um, to us this week, we're going to overcome them, all right? So this is the card of strength, Major Arcana. Next week, oh, shit, now we got the Nine of Cups. Okay, so I just talked about seduction. <laughs> so it's either some sort of seduction happening here, and it could be already with existing relationships, but also to some of those relationships that form new or even better, right? So the yes answer to all romantic questions here, I always talk about it's not an even number of cups, but what you're going to give is what you're going to get back. I equate the nine of cups with that of the star cards, you know, hopes, wishes, and dreams becoming fulfilled and manifested. And that energy may be realized for you this week because this is also the wish fulfillment card. So whatever your heart uh, desires or wants, it could be realized. Social networking expansion, so it could be, you know, more social media stuff for you guys. It could be anything in terms of staying in touch with family members, romantic partners. It could be looking for work, online dating, and so forth. Following the Nine of Cups here, Cancer, now we have the Hermit. Some of us may be going into uh, Hermit mode this week. It's only a, a temporary... It's only a temporary detachment of energy here, so it may be some soul searching that we need to do. Um, yeah, but I don't think it's something that could be heavy. Uh, if you are trying to just spend some quiet time alone, usually that's what the hermit means, and it's always neutral for me. So just, you know, you want to be by yourself. It does follow the family card here, the relationship card. Um but there's nothing wrong with having to, you know, spend a moment by yourself, just trying to regather your energies, your thoughts. And if you do have to do some soul searching and if it's about a specific situation, person or event, you're not going to stay in this energy too long. Cancer, you'll come out feeling like you've, um, you know, arrived at whatever it is that you sought to seek. Right. And this also could be just some form of medication. I'm not medication. I'm sorry, cancer form of meditation <laughs> for some of us. Right. If those cancers out there are good at meditating, I am not one of them. Anyway, so that's the Hermit card, Major Arcana. So you got two. Following that, we got the Five of Swords. All right. So the Five of Swords here is some things that we need to sort out, you know, internally or, you know, dealing with things ex on an external level. If it expresses itself because it is a five, and if it does express itself, Cancer, just note that that two energy is going to be temporary. Uh, I always talk about, we have to be careful here. It does mirror the family card, relationship card here, that someone could still be, you know, um, challenging us in terms of our own mind, so playing mind games and whatnot, and or we have to be careful about, uh, people um, who are in our inner circle who may be envious of us. There's something that we have that they may be envious of, okay? Following the Five of Swords here, Cancer, now we have the Ten of Pentacles. So that money is rolling in, Cancer. Money is looking good. 
I like this top spread for us. Okay, so I always talk about this is the inheritance card. This is the big money card, wealth card. So um, if you're at risk taking ca uh, cancer, I'm still poor because I didn't hit that damn Powerball. But I feel really happy and grateful, though, because they said it was somebody on Skid Row in California. So God bless them, you know, and hope that they do well with their money and their earnings. Um so this is promotions, bonuses. This is um, money coming in or money being available um, in terms of resources. And that can come from any direction. Uh, if it is the absence of money, right, then you're still feeling abundant about something going on in your life. That could be your family. It could be your romantic partner. It could be your work. OK, for the single cancers out there, you know, you're taking care of your own needs and whatnot, but you know, you're willing to share that energy if someone should happen to come along. And then if you're already involved in a relationship cancer, well, you're taking care of each other, even the pets. All right. So money coming in from, you know, litigations, lawsuits. It's a very good card to receive. Following the abundance card. Now we have the nine of pentacles. Now the nine of pentacles is some similar to the ten of pentacles here cancer but it's like financial independence this is the card that's always representing financial independence so i always talk about if you are you're seeking it or if you already are this is the card that uh you know basically rewards you for some sort of hard work or effort that you put into a situation that which can include your actual work so you're being recognized here and it could be through a uh, substantial pay raise again excuse me or a bonus but you worked hard on something okay now it's time for you to get paid back for the efforts that you put into whatever situation that you did so if you're pulling out money cancer from any retirements investments 401ks you know and splurging on yourself well go ahead because you're not supposed to feel guilty about it usually i get big ticket items or purchases with the nine of pentacles so at least with the ten of pentacles and the nine of pentacles here for us cancer money for most of us shouldn't really be a problem it's accessible it's available and you know um some of us don't even need to tap into it it just will come to us naturally at least i hope that's the case anyway following that now we see the knight of pentacles so the money is good we have the job offer we have the contract offer we have um possibly it still would be a pay raise could be a promotion it could be that, you know, other people, because it sits underneath the nine of cups, which is all about those relationships, uh, see us as someone who is always there, dependable, reliable, willing to help out or assist and doesn't always have to relate to uh, finances. They see you as being grounded cancer, someone who is very secure with themselves, someone who is very stable with themselves. And that is some sort of form of admiration, especially because the Nine of Cups is over top of that Knight of uh, Pentacles. There's some sort of admiration. People admire you for, you know, the capabilities or the abilities that come from the energy of the Knight of Coins. Following that is the King of Swords. So, you know, major action, major decisions. This is a card of communication. So... Cancer, you're communicating this week, you're collecting data, you want to be clear about things and just sitting there waiting to use that sword to strike. Usually it's about something major. It's an action or a decision that you're about to do. It could be applied to any of these cards or energies that are present for you or anything else that's going on. Um, sometimes I talk about the queen and the king of swords in terms of having to do those actions and decisions in cold and calculating ways, but it doesn't always have to be anything uh, ending up being negative. Okay. There's something that you're about to do. All right. Some significance may be because it's underneath the, uh, hermit where you have to detach your energy momentarily. Think about something and decide to, you know, to carry or move forward with it or an action. Now we have the page of pentacles. I told you the money is looking good here. Cancer still, this would be a job offer. This would be a contract offer. This would be the start of a, or a birth of a business idea. Okay, starting to save money again. Pages always start things off. So we have <laughs> in this spread cancer, we have nine of pentacles, nine of uh, pentacles, page of pentacles, 
Ten of Pentacles. Wow. To finish this off, we have the Seven of Wands. All right. So the Seven of Wands uh, is my no regret card. Okay. So that means if you're standing your ground, it mirrors the King of uh, Swords here. So that's the action. That's the decision. Whatever it is that you're about to do, you, you stick through it. Okay, you go through it, follow through it, whatever it is, but don't succumb to uh, changing your mind about what you're about to do, Cancer, because you're going to end up regretting it. And the other ones here, because she's fending them off, those are the other people that could be your family, romantic partners, could be friends, co-workers, whoever, trying to persuade you to change your mind about something. And if you do, and you're in agreement with them, you're still going to end up with the regret. Always stand your ground, Cancer. Then in the shadow, we have the Eight of Wands. This is the card of communication, effective communication. Um, in flight, always get in flight with the Eight of Wands. So some of us could be traveling this week, whether it's vacationing or um, work-related matters. We could be receiving something good via the mail. Okay, something that is coming through that we may have... It could have been something that we ordered online or whatever, whatever packages that you may have, uh, uh, you know, whatever you purchased online, it's coming this week. You're going to be seeing it come through this week, but it could be something coming through mail, parcel packages. It could be a phone call. It could be a text, even number one. So what you communicate out this week to others, cancer is going to be well received, as I always say. And then what comes back to you is what, you know, what, yeah. What you put out there is going to be well received and what comes towards you is going to be well received. There is no miscommunication here with the eight of wands and I always get a lot of texting. People doing a lot of texting. Oh, now we got the devil. OK, so the devil is showing his presence here. So this card speaks of obsessing over something, someone or an event. OK, it could be that you're that crab that is a workaholic. Um, you're working too much and then, you know, the strain of your social life, your family life, romantic life may be taking a hit. This is always the card that has us to address what is, you know, um, binding us, what's keeping us, you know, shackled, restrained. So it could be our own personal uh, bad habits or it could be uh, toxic relationships. It could be our toxic environment well it could be our environment that could be toxic as well this card here always um represents you know unrequited love too much energy being poured into the energy of another person you're not getting that same energy back but it also could be both ways um addictions alcohol drinking smoking could be sex the devil cast an illusion cancer, okay? It's usually cast an illusion to make us feel that, you know, we're dealing with situations and they're real to us, but it really isn't. Then, you know, the people that we're dealing with, um, they're showing us who they are, but we're simply refusing to believe that. That's the illusion of the devil's cast, okay? So just be uh, mindful, bring up to the surface and discuss whether or not you're dealing with personal bad habits that need to be addressed, or if you're dealing with bad relationships that also too need to be addressed. Then the final card is the major arcana judgment. So what's hidden in the dark comes to the light. We're spiritually watched over. We're spiritually protected cancer. Some things you may discover about yourself, of course, that you didn't know before could be positive or negative and other things that you may discover about somebody else that you didn't know before that too can be positive or negative. We don't want to use the judgment uh, in terms of uh, judgment towards yourself, you know, and always talk about being harsh towards ourselves. Uh, whatever goes on for us this week, we're not to be, um, you know, just take it as it is and just don't come down too hard on yourself, criticize yourself. And you don't want to do that to other people because this is the karma card. What you put out there, cancer, is what you're going to get back. So always think positive of yourself and your actions and always do the same for other people. And you shouldn't have any problems. All right, so this is what I have for you, Cancer. Not too bad. Just take what's necessary for you. Please give this video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. Also, you guys have a great, safe week ahead. At least the money is looking good. My goodness. I hope it's something that comes to pass for the majority of you. But anyway, I'll talk to you soon. Keep smiling. Bye.